All right, folks, here we are. We've got Steve Ruffley here on the show. We've just done an amazing podcast. Link below the video. Go and check it out. Uh, Steve, welcome to the Trading Art YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Well, look, we're going to jump into your charts now, and you're going to mm -hmm. show us a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, so I'm going to hand it over to you. Perfect. Hey folks, my sponsors City Traders Imperium have just launched some amazing changes to their funded trader program you gotta check out. You can now skip the whole evaluation, trade gold as well as Forex, plus they've increased the drawdown you're allowed in both the evaluation and when funded. With C2A it's even faster and easier to reach up to $4 million in funding with a 50 to 70% profit share. Click the link in the description to find out what else has changed. So I mean, yeah, I mean this is the great thing uh, that I said before about using MT4. Okay, it's a bit of an old school platform, but it gets the job done. I mean, I've spent years and years and years, you know, really refining my trading down and refining, uh, you know, my, my views down. And it all boils down to I see the entire world or my entire trading world in these eight products. These are the only products I trade. And these are set up in a way that, again, I'm always looking for a certain type of movement. And you have to remember that all, you know, the markets are correlated inversely and, you know, and, and, and directly co correlated. This is the other thing that, you know, people that, you know, they don't really understand is like there's so much money being traded out there. You know, there's four trillion traded every day in the FX markets, but we're probably in real terms, you know, more. And all the big guys out there and all the kind of hedge funds, et cetera, are trading in baskets. So they're trading multiple products. So I don't do that. I generally only trade one product at a time. So what I'm looking for is something to happen. That was another example I used. Uh, when I was speaking to earlier, it was, you know, this is, you know, the, 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 well, the dollar here. So when the dollar goes up, yeah, you're going to see the, the euro come down, obviously the pound come down. But I, I generally focus on gold because as the dollar gets more expensive, your know, gold becomes more expensive. So people tend to sell it. So this is a great indication of as the market is moving through the Fibonacci's. And I've even got like a basic hand-drawn Fibonacci, quite rare here. So I was expecting, you know, that the market to get to that 50%. And that's why I said it's a good idea to, to sell tops in gold, especially when you see, you know, the market coming up because that's not a normal correlation, okay? That gold gold should be, you know, the dollar should be going up and gold should be kind of, you know, going up here and then coming down. So you get that overextended move in the market. You know, you get the big, big, big funds coming in, pushing gold up, and then everyone's getting stopped out, hits another good line, one of my Fibonacci's here, then bang, all the uh, all, all the kind of money's made in the next uh, next candle here. So it's not something I actually traded. I didn't, uh, I didn't stay up to trade uh, a gold or anything, but that's the kind of thing that I'm always looking out for. And okay, these, these charts might look a little bit, complex but they're not they're really really simple you know i've ever used the dac something i trade you know as much as i can just because i like the way it moves i understand the dax you know i can get big size in i can get that size out so what we're looking for is a market to move and like eight percent of the time you know a market will pivot and, and move around that 50 percent fibonacci so that 50 percent fibonacci is, is always a trigger for me now obviously stocks are in a, a massive bull market so when when the market moves down it just lets you have other Fibonacci retracement points that are good for dip buying. So as I say, you know, I'm looking through those eight products. All I'm looking for is when the DAX low, because I want to buy a dip. So when the DAX is below that 50%, I don't ever sell it. I just look for it to hit these lower points and it hits it, it goes up, you know? I mean, you know, if you're looking on maybe a, a better time frame like the 15 minutes, you know, when you see the market hit these lower points, you're just buying a little scalp. And generally, it goes up. You know, if you want to hold it for 15 minutes, you know, maybe, you know, you get this much. When I hold it 45 minutes, maybe you make this much. It's pivoting around this 50% beautifully. And when it hits these levels, it generally will bounce back. So, again, you have to remember, like, no, any, no there's no technical analysis that's 100% guaranteed. And what people don't do is they don't invest enough time in their own thinking. So if I want to buy the, the DAX, for instance, and it's going down, yeah, I might, I might start buying here. But I'm happy to buy it, you know, at this level. I'm happy to buy down here. Oh no, oh, so much size, so much pain. Oh, you're offside. Bang, market goes back up. As long as you've kept going in at, at points where you know the market is likely to retrace from. You know, and again, that you can get dragged into, you know, holding trades for a little bit longer at that point. But you know, maybe it's a case of, you know, you're in, you know, and it doesn't bounce and you're out. You look you, so you let the market go to the next point of interest, you know, next logical point, then you're in, then you know, then again, bang, bang, you know, you can be out and you can make your money. So it's not necessarily where the market is in, in terms of the, the levels and where the market is in, in terms of the, the other Fibonacci, it's how it's got there. 
So again, you know, the faster that movement, you know, the faster it kind of breaks down, the bigger you generally see, you know, the, the reaction afterwards. So having, you know, these kind of charts, you know, already pre-done is great because you've got, you know, what I have basically set up is have a, a monthly, weekly and daily point of interest. So that's these dotted lines here. Then I'm a Fibonacci, which is set to every single different time uh, frame that's on the chart. So that will show you the expansion points of where a move is likely to go. It will show that 50% key uh, you know, pivot point, I call it, and then the green retracement points to where a move should go to. So you know, you, you, you're never alone. You know, you don't have to spend, you know, hours and hours doing your technical analysis because it's all set there for you. So, again, when you put that into to the mix of being able to, you know, look at all the different charts and how they correlate with each other, it's like you might not necessarily be trading the thing that's moving. If something's moving, that might be the trigger to say, well, if that's doing that, what do other things do? Okay, so maybe they haven't moved. Maybe your edge is in that other, you know, inversely or, or directly, you know, correlated product. So that's all I'm ever doing, really, is saying, where's the market at that 50%? Okay, is it above or below it? Is there some value? Am I going to buy it back to the 50% or am I going to see a breakout? You know, if the FTSE is moving and the S&P is not moving, you know, is there some edge then in, in the pound? You know, so as again, as, you know, the, the pound goes lower, the, the FTSE gets cheaper in, in basket terms of how, you know, the, the real world and the big traders work. Hey folks, just jumping in here now. This show is sponsored by Mudrix. Mudrix offers you three smart ways to make money from crypto. The first is coin sets. Baskets of coins you can invest in based around themes and picked by experts. The second is algos. Choose from hundreds of robots that can trade crypto for you on autopilot. And the third is to create your own algos and tap into over 50,000 Mudrix investors. Click my special referral link in the description below or the card above and get $25 credit when you join Mudrix today. So I mean, it's easy for me to kind of rant on and say, this is what I do and this is how I do it because I've done all the hard work. You know, I've, I've created, you know, um, th these charts. That, that's, that's my technical understanding of the market. And it just puts them on these products and updates them as the market moves. So I'm never coming to, you know, a chart cold. You know, I can trade. I can not look at my screens for days. And I come back and I've got the same reference points. I've got the same setup. You know, I've, I've looked at this. You know, I don't trade that much, as I said to you, anymore. But it's because I don't need to. I can, you know, look at my phone or I can check my alerts. If something's happening, the market's telling me. I go back to these eight screens. I see where we're trading technically. Maybe a little bit of that, you know, 20% fundamentals in the background, you know, what's happening in the world. Then I see the trade. And as I, I, I said to you, I'm in. You know, I'm not, I think aggression's the wrong word. It's I'm, I'm in with my my account. You know, I, I use my size and I use my account size to, uh, you know, really put big positions into the market as quick as I can around those areas of interest and look for those quick pullbacks. And, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it is a matter of minutes. Sometimes I will have to hold a trade for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, you know, but for me, you know, kind of critically, if it lasts longer than an hour, I'm generally wrong. Okay. So that's, I may not be wrong on direction, but I'm wrong at that point in time. And it's a key thing that I always say to people. It's about being right at the right time in trading. That, yeah, you know, you can be in that trade and it can, it can go the way you want. I'm never looking to get the entire move. I'm just trying to get the movement I want uh, from a trade to get the size in, to get all that trade out at one time and make my money. So I will either be trading with what you see. So like with gold, trading, you know, a, a big, you know, average into the top here and letting it come down. But I'll never be holding it to here. Yeah, there was always more money I could have made. But what I would do is I'd take the money off the table. If I still think it's good, I'd go again. Okay, so this is the real thing about having these lines in play and being able to come back to a screen that you know absolutely inside out that's already always set up for you. All you're looking for is the same things. You know, where's that pivot point? Where's that point of interest? You know, when I see the style of movement that, you know, attracts me into that trade, then I'm in. And then it's just a process of managing my size, managing my emotions and having, you know, an aim of what I want to get out of that trade. Have you got a quick example of a, a recent trade that you would have taken and how you would have scaled into that trade? Like the points that you would have scaled in? You'd probably have to do it from memory. It, you see, the thing is, because each trade is its own thing. So it's not like, you know, you're just trading something and, um, you know, you, it's difficult to explain, yeah, because there's not like, oh, I saw this level, so I bought some DAX here and I got out here. It's more like, you know, what 
where, where, where you are kind of like in, in your mindset of kind of like this is value here's so you're in here you're in here you're out here and you're doing that and you're kind of constantly doing it and then you know one trade feels really good so you know you put that extra bit of size in then you get it all out i mean you know like i said i mean it's like at the end of the day you know, it's like I'm, I'm always on a journey you know it's like at, at this particular point you know and in, in this particular account I'm, I'm down you know um i've, I've you know I've, I've had a couple of bad uh months uh, in a row and it looks like big money but then the thing is when you're making you know five ten fifteen twenty thousand a day you know that suddenly turns around i mean people are always like kind of you know quite critical about how big traders trade and how people that really make the money because you know i can make more money in, in a day than most people could make in a year you know it's never about you know it's where you are in your overall picture you know like this particular account that i'm, I'm doing now i've only been trading it for four months and it's like yeah I'm, I'm down about 60 grand it's like so what people look at me and go like you're down 60 grand it's like oh you, you're just a liar you're a rubbish trader it's like yeah but i made 30 grand last week last week I made 30 grand mm. so it's like well you know it's like if you're 60 grand down in a you know a, a large account so what you know it's kind of you, you when you, you can make the big money the money just comes back quicker yeah and but people are always like well you know what's your what's your risk strategy what's your setup and, and what's this it's like well my, my risk strategy and setup is an overall picture i over a year for 20 years have never had a down year so yeah i've had down months I've had down periods and that's, that's the metal. That's, that's when, you know, you, you push yourself as a, as a professional trader. And it's like, yeah, you know, I haven't made any, any money. I've actually lost money for a couple of months. It's like, yeah, then I'll go on a run. I'll do four or five winning trades. And I've made all that back and more. Listen, I've had a hundred thousand pound swings in a day. You know, I'm willing, you know, to take risks. I'm r- willing to kind of, you know, play with open risks and, and trade with size. And the thing is, you know, this is what people don't kind of understand is like, if you get a couple of trades right and you get that size on side, you know, when it just goes for you, then the losses seem absolutely trivial. Mm. Absolutely trivial. And this is what people can't stand, they see, because they want this regimented strategy. They want this comfort zone that they're always going to know what they're risking and what they're going to make. Yeah, I've got a rough idea of what I'm going to make out of a trade, a rough idea of what I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to lose. But all the magic happens in that in-between. I can see wild swings in my p and you know, but as quick as I can be 20 grand offside, I can be 20 grand off- onside. People might never make that money in, in, in trading in their entire lives, and I can make it in, in minutes. Okay, so it's not focusing about where you are right now. It's about focusing on where you want to be and what the end game is. You know, I, I just work to a tax year. So that's what I do. So, you know, I'm six months in, and it's like, yeah, I'm not up money now, but the, by the end of it, after my, you know, 20 years of doing this, I will be up money mm. And I'm yeah. not I'm not worried where I am on the journey right now. That that's irrelevant. The trade is the trade is the trade is the trade. That trade is that trade. And I have, you know, again, good enough kind of, you know, uh bounce back ability, you know, if you want to call it, that you know, I don't get phased. You know, I don't get phased by the, the money isn't really my main concern. The money's there to be used and to be traded. And at the end, you know, I am I'm generally up. And yes, you know, maybe I've had to survive, off, you know, a couple hundred thousand some years, uh, you know, boo-hoo, you know, rich people's problems. But then other, you know, years, it's been massive, huge amounts of money. But this is it, you know, until you, you kind of put yourself in that position where you can make the big money, then you know, it's a different game. It really is. It's a different style of trading. It's just a different place. You know, you know, a lot of retail traders never get out of the comfort zone because they don't want to take, you know, the downside pain. Okay, I love the downside pain. The more downside pain coming to me, the more I'm likely to bounce back on the other side and make some good money. So as I say, you know, trading's all about being on that journey and where you are and kind of like, yes, you might be down for a couple of months, but if you're doing that, you know, consistently and you're following your strategy and your rules, generally you get back to where you want to be. Yeah, I, I, funnily enough, you mentioned that because I and look, thank you for being so transparent here. Mm-hmm. Um, a, another trader that I know, I mean, he's not been on the show, said to me once. He said, "Look, you know," I said, "Where, where does when do you, you know where does the confidence come from?" And he said, "The confidence comes from getting some drawdowns and coming back from those drawdowns. When you've yep. done that a few times, that's when the confidence comes that you're like, well, I don't really you know, the drawdowns are the drawdowns that I'm going to get them, mm-hmm. but I'll come back from them. Don't worry about that. It's going to be it's just a matter of time and and just." replaying what I'm doing. And you get that confidence and then obviously things, you know, going from there. Hey guys, ever wonder what broker I use? 
Well, I use these guys, Henko Trade. Look, it was a no brainer for me because I was looking for a broker with really good trading conditions and one without any leverage restrictions. Look, also by joining Henko Trade, I was able to cut my cost of trading significantly with their super low commission of $1 per 100K. Look, if you want to find out more, check out hankotrade.com or there is a link in the description. Hey, look, Steve, thank you very much for sharing with us today. Uh, guys, do remember we did shoot an amazing podcast. Go and check that out links under the video and uh before we wrap up what's the best way for the guys to get hold of you yeah i mean really just uh anything uh, on my site stevebrothley.com uh there's uh there's ways to contact me through the contact form but everything's my name so just google me you can get me on skype steve roughly steve at steve or again just uh yeah just google me and there's, there's there's a myriad of ways to get hold of me awesome stuff well look guys if you did see that close all button on the on the thing he does talk about that in the podcast now if, that was an EA for MetaTrader 4. If you do want to look to build your own trading EAs, then I do have a course, actually. Go and check it out. It's called Robot Builders Club. I teach you how to build trading robots for MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 without doing any coding at all. Um, links under the video for that as well. Guys, um, thanks for watching. Do remember, hit subscribe, hit like, click on the notifications bell, and click all, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, um, if you've got questions for Steve, chuck them in the comments, because he's going to come back on and answer some of those questions in future episodes of the show. So. Send us your questions.